by the glorious beard of Solemn Johnson, this is one hell of a band list, ladies and gentlemen. Who? Uh, <laughs> geez, I, uh, <laughs> so, so, so normally I do goofy over exaggerations about how, how exciting the band list is. Just to sort of make fun of how every other Yugi tuber, no matter what the ban list says, is like, holy shit, biggest ban list ever. But, uh, you know, this time, it, th they're fully in their right to be excited because this is possibly the biggest ban list ever. This is one of the, the most substantial changes I've ever seen in all my years of playing Yu Gi Oh! I think there's like 30 cards on here. Pretty much every meta deck hit in some way, and a whole bunch of stuff taken off the limited and forbidden list. They're changing things up. This is gonna be a summer of, of probably orchests, but, but maybe just figuring out what's good and what's new in general. Maybe, maybe there's time for Metaphys to sneak in there. Probably not, but a man can dream, can't he? A man can dream. Anyway, let's go ahead. There are two bands. Eclipse Wyvern, number one. Um, I don't think anyone was expecting this. I don't think anyone necessarily even wanted this, but at the same time, I'm not really surprised that Eclipse Wyvern is banned. It's one of those things that like, oh, and then I mill cards, and then Eclipse Wyvern hits the graveyard, which means I banish a dragon, and then I banish it to summon this, and then this gets added back to my hand, and this mills more cards, and it's just, ah, uh, I for one am glad it's gone. And the other one is the, uh, the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish now banned. And, you know, it's, it's a bittersweet thing on the one hand. I'm not going to pretend like I, I'm uh, sad that I won't be getting double fog bladed anymore. Uh, it, it's a nice hit to Orcist without actually hitting Orcist. Now they'll actually have to rely on their, like, in-archetype stuff. They can't have Dingirsu and a counter trap and two fog blades. Uh, at the same time, though, I, Phantom Knight players, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to pay for the sins of another deck once again! This is the second time this year that something Phantom Knights has been hit without Phantom Knights themselves actually doing much of anything. A, a sad state of affairs, but you know what? That's, that's just how life is. Life is unfair. The Malcolm in the Middle theme song said it, and it was true. We're all going to die someday, and th those of us who die will become phantoms. And some of them will become Phantom Knights. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. But you know what? Let's just go on. Those are the only two forbidden cards. Then we get to the limited cards, and there's a whole bunch of them. Altergeist Multifaker? Limited. Fuck you, Altergeist. No one wants your shit around here. You thought you could be good just because every other meta deck got hit? Nah, they're making sure that you're not doing much of anything anyway. That's probably a bit mean. There, there's some nice uh, Altergeist players out there. Kind of a shame they never got their chance at the true spotlight. But who knows, maybe with one multi-faker they can still do... Probably not. Uh, Black Dragon Collapse Serpent and uh, White Dragon Wyvern Buster is also on here. The Black and White Dragons, the Chaos Dragons, which is a, a hit to both Thunder Dragons and Guard Dragons without actually hitting either of those decks. Just making them sort of, like, less consistent. Good to hit the older cards rather than the newer ones. Uh, Salamangrate Gazelle, because Salamangrates won, like, all the, 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 uh, WCQs or something like that. I don't know. Simo talks about it. Go watch his video. Simo's a nice guy. But, yeah, the Salamangrates got hit. They got hit by Gazelle. That's, like, their big play starter. Now it's gone. Tempest, the Dragon Ruler of Storms, is back. I, for one, welcome our new Dragon Ruler Overlords. Just the one, though. Just the Wind one. I guess Wind is not the best. But at least we got one of them back. That's kind of neat. There's White Dragon Wyvern Buster. I told you he was on here. Uh, Digustral Emerald is back. Or Emerald. Huh. For whatever reason, I thought that was Emerald. Whatever. Digusto is back. Good for all the Gusto players who needed to use that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I don't even remember what this does. I think it, like... You know what, let's look it up real quick. Let's see, target three monsters in the graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, draw one card, target one non-effect monster in the graveyard, special summon it. Huh. Why was this banned again? I guess Zodiac, something to do with Zodiacs, they made all the, the level, the rank fours do stuff. I can't believe that shuffle three, draw one was really all that broken. I guess they recycled all the Ixies and stuff like that. 
Well, whatever, it's back. It's back, you can use it again. Uh, Salaman Great Circle also hit. They're hitting all the consistency on Salaman Greats. I'm pretty sure they can still do stuff. I'm pretty sure they'll be a meta contender. I'm not super familiar with Salaman Greats, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't hurt them. Like, it hurts them a lot, but they also hurt all the other meta decks, so I think it might still have a chance. Uh, Sky Striker Mecha Modules multi roll. Joe, go ahead and put up the, the, the Yugi poop you made of that. Eh, it's like an arm flailing inflatable tube man. Uh, but yeah, that got hit. That's the only hit to Sky Strikers, which I... I mean, multi-roll is their thing that lets them just get everything back out of the graveyard. Having it at one means if they get it destroyed, their ability to reuse everything is is really lowered. Uh, not sure if that's a huge hit to them. They still got three Widow Anchor, they still got three Engage, they still got some stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if they got hit once more in October when we get the new list. But, uh, you know, this is pretty good for now. Let's see, Terraforming and Metaverse, both at one. Basically, non-direct hits at Mystic Mine, which, of course, they're not going to hit Mystic Mine. It just came out in the last set. they still probably selling some of those cards. People are still using it, the people who who like that sort of thing. But th this will help a lot. This should stop Mystic Mine from being ran and basically like a dedicated deck of its own because you're not going to be able to search it nearly as well. The thing that made that deck so oppressive was that you had three Metaverse you could activate on your opponent's turn, just activate Mystic Mind straight from the deck in the middle of their combo and just completely shut them down. And then, like, Metaverse is searchable both by Lilith and also Trap Trick, and Trap Trick is searchable by Lilith. So you end up having, like, 17 copies of Mystic Mind in your deck, essentially, by limiting Metaverse to one, you can no longer search it with Trap Trick, since it has to banish a copy of the trap from the deck to activate it. And you could search it with Lilith, but it's like you get one Metaverse and two other cards. So that, that'll that pretty much kill Mystic Mind Burn, at least I'm hoping it will, while still letting people use it in other decks. And hopefully all those rogue players who, who think it's fine when they can play it, at, they won't like it as much, they'll finally be against it once, uh you know, Sky Strikers is the only deck using it. Uh, Trickstar Light Stage also got hit. This is apparently a hit to Orcist. They could do their Nightmare combo with the Trickstars. You just run an engine of like three Light Stage, two Terraforming, Candina, everything searches everything else, and then you can get two monsters on, do your Nightmares. Personally, though, I like to think that this was a hit uh, for me, that Konami saw that I, I lost to Trickstars on the Yugi Tuber Grand Championship, and they were like, you know what, that deck's a little unfair, let's just go ahead and, and limit Light Stage. And I think that's it, yeah, that's it for the limits. But the semi-limited list, holy fuckballs, they, they, there was like two cards on here last time, I believe. Yeah, it was just Necroface and just Malicious, and now look at it. Now look at all the things that are on it. Chaos Emperor Dragon, back at two. I think no one cares because it got an errata that's just like broken. Danger, Nessie, Jackalope, and Suchinoko all at two. They're semi-limiting the dangers, removing them a little bit. That's probably the best way to go about it. The thing about the dangers that makes them so good is just the fact that you, like, plus one off of all of them. So now it's like, you either have to run some of the lesser dangers, like Mothman or, or Dogman. Does anyone run Dogman? They might have to run Dogman. But you either run all of those, or you just run this little package, and then you're less consistent, so... A decent hit to dangers. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments. I've been wanting to make, like, a pure danger deck. Just, like, danger, beat down, and control with all their support. Should I do it now? Or should I wait till they get hit one more time? I'm pretty sure they could still get hit, and the pure version of dangers will work. I mean, I made pure Zodiacs work, even after they got all their hits. Um, we also got back Ether, the Heavenly Monarch was limited, now semi-limited. Hey, there you go, Monarch players. Stratos to two! Now there's two of them, heroes just got even better, glad I didn't make those yet. Insector Dragonfly to two! This is, it's weird, because when I first started playing, Insectors was like the unstoppable meta deck. Like, I couldn't believe that there were cards this broken. So, the fact that now you can, the deck's almost at full power. I mean, Dragonfly to two, that, that's their strongest playmaker, and I believe they've already got Hornet at three or two. Either way, I should be able to make Insectors work. I would love to get the, the 2012 format 
and bring that back and like, oh yeah, this deck that used to dominate that was like the most brutal thing ever can now barely compete in the modern age. <laughs> we'll see though. They, if I recall, this could do some pretty busted stuff, especially with some new insect support. I'll, I'll be interested to try that. Uh, damage juggler back at uh, two, which is, you know, I don't think anyone was really using damage juggler. I don't even know what this does. I completely forgot. I don't even want to look it up. I, I, I just don't care. Uh, Shear It, back to two, good for Necrol's players, again, another deck, another really strong meta deck, I think a lot of people who watch me now kind of joined in around Necrol's format, or started taking it more seriously, so that's, that's there in Zekdors, that's like, finally, this deck that was so broken and so expensive, now I can play it in the modern format, and a Royal Tribute at two, which is, um... A little worrying. This is one of those cards that probably not going to do anything, but I I really don't want to have run into it at all. If you're unfamiliar, this is a Gravekeeper spell that's basically like both players discard all the monsters in their hands except for Gravekeepers. Something like that. I wonder if you can use that in Dangers. I might have to try that in my Pure Danger deck, or I think you might need Necro Valley on the field. which In which case the Dangers would be useless. But you know what, either way, any card that lets you discard your opponent's entire hand, just not something I really like. And then finally, no longer on the list. They had to make up for the fact that they put so many things on the list, they just took a whole bunch of stuff off. Clifford Scout at 3. Luster Pendulum at 3. Trishula at 3. Dark Hole at 3. Monster Gate at 3. Rekindling at 3. Super Polymerization at 3. And Sol uh, Solemn Judgment. By the great beard of Solemn Johnson, it's at three. All the Solemns are at three, I think. Except for Warning. Is Warning still at two? One second. Yeah, Warning's still limited, but the rest of the Solemns, the rest of the Solemns are, are at three. So this this just does a whole bunch. I mean, Clifforts. I mean, Towers is affected by Link monsters. So, I mean, anyone who can make, like, a Nightmare Cerberus can take out Towers now. He's not really a big deal, but... He's still a big enough deal, especially with Floodgates and all the stuff that Cliffords can run. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that. Especially, you can mix a lot of the Cliffort stuff with the uh, the Monarch stuff that came out afterwards. I'll be interested to see if anyone does that. Luster Pendulum, good for, for uh, Pendulum Magicians, I think. I'm sure they can use that somehow. That's the one that lets you, like, destroy something in your zone. That's always really good. Trishula 3, I don't think will do anything in Master Rule 4, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone came up with a combo to, like, summon it three times and just, like, triple hand loop your opponent. But we'll see. It, it we'll, we'll see. Dark Hole at 3, that's really interesting. It went from, from 1 to 2 to one, to three. Like, what? What? They're, they're just like, hey, hey, you can destroy everything. Destruction confirmed to be useless in whatever the upcoming format is. It's that cycle going through again. Now they're like, oh yeah, you could destruct the hell out of things. Destruction isn't going to mean shit in like three months. Uh, Monster Gate, that's interesting. I think that, that helps Infernoids. That helps some... There's a lot of decks that can be... There's a lot of decks that will like play Monster Gate at 1, and now that it's at 3, I think that might make some kind of impact. Rekindling, I would, I'm would, i kind of surprised, because that's essentially like Soul Charge, but for, for Fire Monsters. They have to have 200 or, or 2, I think exactly 200 defense. Either that or 200 or less, I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty sure some deck is going to make a whole bunch of like Link combos. Flame Vels did just get that new card. I wonder if that plus rekindling at 3 has a chance to do anything. I don't know, further experimentation needed. Uh, super polymerization at 3, kinda helping out with that fact that like, if Dark Hole is useless then super poly becomes the new de facto, this is how you remove things because you can't really negate it. And then Solemn Judgment, same thing, just, just going into negation, non-destruction removal, all that stuff. So, really big list. Changed up a whole lot of stuff. Like I said, pretty much every meta deck got hit. Every kind of roguish tier deck that was on the list that still has a chance of doing stuff is is pretty much free. Now you can play, like, Heroes at almost full power, and Zekdors, Necros. I, Necros still need a couple more things. Shadals you could probably... There's a lot of stuff from a few years ago that, that now you could play it again. So, really interesting. I like this new list. I'm I'm happy with pretty much everything. It's a little sad that, that Phantom Knights lost Rusty Bardish, 
It's a little sad that cards that rely on field spells now have less searches, but... But to be honest, we all knew terraforming was gonna get hit eventually. It's like Rhoda, it just can't stay at three. There's just too many cards that it searches. So, it finally happened. I, for one, look forward to the future. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.